Greetings to you from IGNU Regional Center, Cochin. This program is on induction meeting. An induction meeting is the first meeting of the learners who have enrolled into the program of study of IGNU with the institution, distance teaching institution, that is IGNU. And uh, for uh, being made aware of certain rules and regulations, which are already available in the prospectus, the first 11 pages and the last five pages and so that we brush up of what we have to do as a distance learner in a distance teaching institution and uh, this uh, cycle of admission is so unique in that the implementation of the NEP 2020 uh, at IGNU has also been fulfilled by may, way of multiple exit and we also have uh, need to have the provision of uh, uploading all of our academic records in the digi locker in the nad so that the academic bank of credit can be maintained by individual students uh, for accumulation of credits so that the redemption the transfer and also the authentication can be done as the need in compliance to nep 2020 so friends, we just before we start of what is to be done uh, with the IGNU, I just want to share of how you have to study with IGNU. And you will be, uh, I would have observed the objectives and features of IGNU, uh, which has been indicated in the prospectus. That is, it has, to, it, uh, it has the objective and feature to promote the educational well-being of the community. It has a wide range of academic programs at an affordable cost, and it is flexible in terms of a place, pace, duration of study. And the achievements of IGNU is that, see, why we are sh sharing about the achievements is you should know to what alma mater you belong to. So the recognition as center of excellence in distance education by the Commonwealth of Learning in 1993, the Award of Excellence for Distance Education Material by Commonwealth of Learning 1999. The UNESCO has declared IGNU as the largest institution of higher learning in the world in 2010. And it has the largest network of learning uh, support system. And it is accredited with the A++ by NAC in 2021. And how to st study with IGNU? You should know the deadlines. The deadlines are, are for the prerequisites uh, for submitting the examination form, the uh, the uh, time frame given for submission of assignment response, and the re-registration, that is payment of second year fees, and also the way in which you can drag the program of study from minimum to maximum period prescribed for each of the program. So know the deadlines, know the rules, Remember, friends, only the rules can be bent. We can't break it. So we are supposed to know the rules so that we will be able to move along uh, of uh, taking the rules as a guide point or checkpoints, whether we are fulfilling the same as we progress in the program of study. From access uh, to successful completion, the journey is quite far, I should say. And know the prerequisites because many a time the deadlines, the rules have a definite prerequisites, which means you have to fulfill the prerequisite when it comes to uh, the mandatory uh, uh, following of the deadlines and the rules. For example, submission of examination form is a prerequisite for writing the term and examination. And it is independent learning. You will feel uh, that you are a member of a big university, but still you are away from the institution. You are away from the teacher who wrote the material and you are also away from the peer who, are, who is studying the same program. So all these um, three uh, being uh, different categories and also being away from you, it necessitates the uh, independent learning from your end. Meaning nobody is going to come and uh, come at the back of you uh, to tell what you have to do or how you have to progress. And you, your autonomy is given for you as a learner in this process. It is more like, uh, I will say, uh, uh, a small monkey clinging to the mother monkey. You would have uh, in a conventional education system or in the school which you have studied or the college earlier, where you have the education 
you would have seen the teachers coming at the back of you like the mother cat uh, taking the small kitten around whereas in distance teaching institution it is like the small monkey clinging to the mother monkey and uh, uh, the science says the scientific says that the small monkeys never falls even though the big mother monkey jumps from one tree to the other so here you may ask if i am the small monkey then who is the mother monkey it will be the coordinator of your lse that is the person who, who who is in touch with the field level so you need to be in touch with your uh, lse at least by email uh, when it uh, so that you your independent learning is guided the lighthouse for independent la la learning is the learner support center and it is self faced so suppose today you are unable to study we are expecting that you will uh, be able to start uh, you will face it to study before the minimum period is over suppose if the minimum period also you are unable to fulfill then it will be assumed that you are taking the maximum period of study to complete the program and please do the self ex ex check exercises while studying the study material so what happens is there are self check exercises in between the study material when you take the study material it will be the unit structure will be there so when you see the unit structure you will know what all points are going to be covered in that particular unit and when the running matter starts there will be self help self check exercises meaning there will be a question and the answer is you have to check yourself you need not uh, give it to any evaluator or submit to the study center if you have to be your own teacher and the answer will be in that unit only and uh, the best possible answers will also be given at the end of the unit so you please uh, take care uh, uh, to do the self check exercises because they attribute to certain questions from the term and examination point of view and also that reflected in the assignment response and then attend online theory counseling session with the new nep uh, um, where it says the digital uh, depository has to be made uh, for uh, um, students to have 24/7 access to uh, learning material we are resorting to online theory counseling session and please do attend the online theory counseling session and uh, do the assignment questions after studying many a time the questions may seem familiar in the assignment question but when you are starting to write the you will be evaluated based on the content transacted in the study material and how you assimilated it by reading it and how you can put it in writing in your own words so please uh, do the assignment questions and write the assignment response after studying and the old question paper is available in ignu website so if you want to see the pattern of question paper in your term and examination it is better that you visit the old question paper available in the ignu website and be familiar with the pattern so that you can uh, uh, you can be benefited of what has to be done from the angle of writing the term and examination so friends so far you have been uh, listening to of uh, how to study with uh, ignu the features the achievements and what you have to do as a learner by doing self check exercise the importance of uh, writing the assignment response after reading the material and uh, the um, the prerequisites you have to fulfill the rules and regulations governing each program of study and also the way which you have to move ahead, move ahead as a independent learner friends now it's time to listen to mrs sujini babu on the significance of enrollment number the difference between fresh admission and re-registration the minimum and maximum period of study made available at ignu over to uh, uh, madam sujini babu madam will also be touching about the ignu regional center coaching and the facilities at learner support center over to madam uh, a very warm good morning to one and all uh, today i will be sharing some details on difference between program code and course code 
significance of enrollment number, minimum and maximum period of study, that is validity of your registration. I'll also be sharing some basic information about the regional center coaching and learner support centers. So uh, I will start with difference between program code and course code because it is important that you should know your program code and course code of your program. Program code indicates which program you are doing from the university. For example, if, if you are a student of master's in English, the program code is MEG. For the program Bachelor of Tourism, uh, Tourism Studies, the program code will be BTS. So each program has its own program codes. Now, what is the course code? The subject, the subject uh, or, or your course has course codes. If you go through your program guide or which you have received along with your study materials, you will know the course codes. Uh, example, uh, under the program Masters in English, you can see MEG 5 in first year because you are a first year student. That's why I'm uh, talking about MEG 5. MEG 5. Literary Criticism and Theory. That is the course title. MEG 5 is the co uh, course code. Likewise, each program has program code, program title, course code, and course title. Now let's see significance of enrollment number. Enrollment number is allotted to you by the university. So let's check what is enrollment number and where you can find your enrollment number. Once you submit your online application form for admission and your admission is confirmed, you will be allotted with a unique number, which is the enrollment number. The enrollment number is a, was a nine digit unique number for those who registered till 2019 July session. However, for those who have registered for, uh, registered after January 2020, uh, your enrollment number has 10 digits. The university identified the student by the enrollment number. Therefore, it is mandatory to mention your enrollment number while you communicate with the university. Whenever you send an email or you submit an application, please mention your enrollment number, your program code, name, and your study center. Uh, so you can find your enrollment number in your uh, identity card, uh, which can be downloaded from the IGNO website. So next, uh, I will share uh, what, what is the difference between fresh admission and re-registration. When you register with IGNO for the first time, either first semester or first year, for any program is on offer is called fresh admission. Whereas re-registration is when you register for your second semester or second year after an year or a semester. It is not mandatory that you have to complete all components of your first year or first semester for re-registering your second, sem second year or second semester. University has made it convenient to the student to take fresh admission and also take re-registration through online from the IGNO website. Now let's see. Uh, what is study center? Most of the students get confused with the regional center and the study center. The university has established a study center at various esteemed colleges or higher education students uh, institutions. Each study center has its unique center code. For example, Sacred Heart College Devira is one of our uh, study centers of IGNO. The study center code of SH Devra is 1402. Likewise, each study center has its own ICNO study center code. You should know your study center code, study center name and address for uh, address of your study center for availing academic support and also for submission of assignment because you have to submit your assignment at the study center. One important thing you have to keep in mind that regional center is not your study center. Hope uh, it is clear. Now let us see maximum period to complete the program. It indicates the validity of your registration. Each program offered by the university has its minimum 
and maximum period of study to facilitate flexible way. It is very important that the learner is well aware of the valid period of their registration. There were instances uh, like the student submitting the project report or dissertation for uh, uh, that matter assignments after expiry of the validity of registration and the result of the same has been withheld by the university. So it is uh, so it is important to know your registration validity. You may visit the university website to know your registration period. Student has the choice to complete the program either in uh, within the minimum or maximum period of validity. Uh, now let me brief you the facilities made available at uh, regional and learner support centers to support the learners of FICNO. First, uh, I'll be brief. I'll brief you about the regional center coaching. The regional center coaching was established on 17 November 1988 to provide open and distance education in the state of Kerala and the Union Territory of Lakshadweep. In the year 2009. ICNO has established another regional center at Tuvandrup. And in the year 2011, ICNO has established one more regional center in Kerala, which is at Vadagara. Now regional center coaching caters to six districts of Kerala. Cochin regional center has the facility of Gyanwani FM radio station, computer labs, classrooms, library, recreation rooms, and guest rooms. IGNO Regional Center has another six-story building where we have the Regional Evaluation Center, Study Material Warehouse, and one of our Learner Support Center, 14000. IGNO Regional Center coach is, is located in a prominent and easily accessible area of Kalur, which is very near to Kalur Metro Station and private bus stand. Regional Center is also easily accessible from North Railway Station, South Railway Station, and KSRTC bus terminus. Now let's see uh, IGNO website. Our main, main website URL is www.igno.ac.in. From the main website, you can download ID card, prospectus, study materials, assignment question papers, program guide, all question papers, etc. Exam date, date sheets also will be available in the main website. All information which you need to know will be uploaded or updated in the main website from time to time. So it is important that you browse the website from time to time to keep you updated. You can also uh, take your uh, take fresh admission that you have already done. You can take your re-registration, submit your exam form, register for the convocation to our website. All data pertaining to your program like exam results, assignments, study center change, address change, study material dispatch status will also be updated in the main web website of IGNO. Regional Center has its own website with the URL rccoaching.igno.ac.in. There you can get the information such as induction guidelines, brochures, newsletter of Regional Center Coaching, counseling schedule, study center details, etc. You can also follow us in our website, uh, Facebook page and Twitter. Now one is the important uh, thing that is academic counseling. Academic counseling will be scheduled at your learner support center. That is your study center. Till February 2020, IGNO was offering face-to-face -face counseling sessions at uh, its learner support centers. But uh, currently we are going online or virtual mode counseling sessions. Recorded um, counseling sessions of various programs are also available in the IGNO Regional Center YouTube channels. So hope you all have got an idea about your program, enrollment number, study center, 
validity of uh, registration regional center and lsc web uh, learner support centers websites etc so that brings me to the end of my session thank you all next i request dr prasida unnikrishnan um, assistant director of regional center kochin to deliver a brief about igno study materials and free refund for special uh, clientele scholarship prerequisites and multiple entry and exit facility for selected bachelor degree programs uh, over to madam prasida unnikrishnan thank you uh, thank you uh, ms sujini babu uh, th now i think you must have got a brief overview about what is expected from an igno student from being an igno students uh, till till now you would have understand understood how to uh, know your enrollment number your program code your course code and other nitty gritties so now today i would be explaining about igno study materials and fee refund for the special clientele and the scholarship requisites uh, which are available for you as an igno student so first we talk about igno study materials uh, indira gandhi national open university uh, has also received the award for excellence for distance education material by the commonwealth of learning in the year 1999 so igno study materials basically are available in two forms one is a soft copy form and other is the hard copy form the hard copy of the study materials are being sent to you by the material production and distribution division at igno headquarters delhi and uh, the soft copy of the study materials those who have opted uh, uh would get a discount of 50% of program fee and that was provided at the time of admission so how do you study uh, using your study materials so now when you get your study materials every program has one or more than one course here course means uh course means subject the subjects which you have to study and every subject is made up of blocks uh, and the blocks are made of units that is the blocks uh, uh, you have the course code course code is basically the subject which you have to study and in one subject you may have uh, blocks that is the books uh, you would have two books three books or four books to study that is four blocks to study and once you uh, take on one book uh, of study material for studying you will notice that every uh, in igno terminology the chapterization of every uh chapterization is called the unit basically so uh in igno terminology every chapter is called the unit so when you go through the uh, first unit of your block uh, or the book which you are taking uh you have to do you have to understand the unit structure there will be an introduction there will be a conclusion and at the end there will be a self ex exercise and summary and unit and the questions so that uh, the questions uh, at the end of each chapter or a unit would basically help you understand what you have studied in that chapter and this will also enable you to do well in your term and examinations so i hope you have basically understood the structure of the study materials let me just explain once again every program is made up of various course codes which you have to study uh, and thus every course code can have two books three books or four books and the course uh, and every course is made up of blocks so how do you uh, download your study materials in soft copy you can download your study materials in soft copy from the e gyan kosha or link which is available on the igno website www.igno.ac.in uh, here it is given the screenshot of the e gyan kosh uh, website and as you can see you can uh, uh, get note of various igno facebook live recorded videos are available the igno self learning materials are available the igno swayam course content is also available and various igno youtube videos are available on the e gyan kosh uh, website in the search repository window of the top left corner you can type your course code your course name or the relevant keyboard for searching the content you are searching and then you press when you press enter uh, you can view the course code the course name and you can download the soft copy of your study materials through this e gyan kosh option 
once you download it you can click on the respective links and you can view open button the study uh, view open you can click on the view open button to download the study materials in the igno also has an e content app which is basically useful for those who are used to checking the e content on their mobile phones especially android enabled mobile phones can download this e content app from the play store or google play store they can install it in your uh, mobile phone and you can also view your e content using this app so now you have registered for the july 2022 session Uh, so the dispatch status of the study materials is presently available on the igno website that is http igno.ac.in/igno/aboutignosdivision/mpdd/materials so this is the screenshot of the uh, dispatch uh, uh, dispatch status uh, which you can view about your study materials so definitely those students who have opted for hard copy of the study materials you will definitely receive the same on the registered address which you have mentioned at the time of your admission so now you would have got a brief idea about the uh, slms of igno that is a self learning materials of igno every self learning material also has a program guide as uh, my colleague Uh, Ms. Sujini Babu was mentioning. So please download the program guide from the E Gyan Kosh option, which is available on the Igno website, and start studying right now. I would also be speaking about some of the uh, scholarship uh, benefits which are available for our Igno learners. Many of the SCST students would have also availed the direct benefit scheme, which is offered by Igno. and then you have the kerala state government scholarship the minority scholarship scheme and the scholarship for the differently abled many of our igno students scst learners would have di directly availed this direct benefit scheme scst students have an option to uh, to pay zero fee at the time of admission uh through this direct benefit scheme wherein they are required to upload their uh, caste certificate and given undertaking that they are not employed anywhere this benefit scheme is available for certain selected programs of igno and it is mainly for the certificate diploma and ug programs of igno then you have the kerala state government scholarship wherein the scholarship can be uh, there is a scholarship form uh, which you can also get it from any of the state government kerala state government offices uh, dealing with scholarship and or otherwise you can also collect it from the igno regional center kochi uh, office as well and the hard copy uh, can also be collected from the social welfare department So when you submit uh, your documents for the scale Kerala State Government Scholarship at Igno Regional Centre Kochi, you need to submit your Igno ID card, caste certificate, and uh, uh, other details which have been mentioned. And usually it takes around six to eight months uh, for uh, to get the scholarship process, wherein your form is forwarded to the Kerala State Government uh, for disbursement of scholarship. you also have the fee refund for special kind of uh, clientels like the minority scholarship scheme you have the national scholarship portal uh, students uh, who are interested in uh, there are various scholarship schemes uh, which are available for the minority community uh, and uh, a student who is of the minority community can opt uh, for any of the scholarship schemes uh, through this national scholarship portal that is www.nsp.gov.in wherein you have to apply through this uh, portal and, uh, and this portal's uh, credentials are being verified at our end next you also have the scholarship for differently able there are various uh, scholarships which are available for the differently able uh, uh, students uh, uh, and the portal through which they can avail the scholarship is the national handicap finance and development corporation that is the www.nhfbc.nic.in so a student uh, uh, who is differently able can kindly go through this website and uh, avail of the various schemes uh, uh, which are available on the website so this was about the scholarship uh, schemes which are available for igno students 
So now I have talked basically about the self-learning materials and about the scholarship schemes available for IGNO students. Next, I would be talking about the multiple entry and multiple exit for the bachelor's level programs. In fact, the multiple entry and multiple exit, exit facility for IGNO programs is, uh, is available for the students from July 2022 admission cycle onwards. And the policy is mainly applicable for BAG, BCOM G, BSCG, and BCA programs of IGNO. Under this policy or scheme, uh, after completion of the first year, that is basically when you complete your first year, uh, that is the first two semesters of your study at your undergraduate level, you would be, and if you uh, quit after that, you would be receiving an undergraduate certificate. Suppose after completion of two years of your study at the UG level, uh, you decide not to pursue it any further, you will be still awarded an undergraduate diploma for the two years which you have studied with IGNO. Similarly, after completion of three years of study, a general bachelor's degree would be awarded. So basically, this is the multiple entry and multiple exit scheme, which is available for the UG level and uh, UG level programs of IGNO, basically for the BAG, BCOM G, BSCG, and BCA programs of IGNO. So this facility also is available for the learners who have been admitted for the July 2022 admission cycle. <coughs> so thank you all for listening to me. So next, I would like to uh, invite my colleague, Dr. VT Jalcha Kumari, Assistant Regional Director, to kindly deliver her session on online counseling session, internal and external assessment at IGNO. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, Dr. Prasida. Once again, warm welcome to all the students to IGNU, especially for IGNU learning. And uh, Dr. Unikrishnan, uh, Prasida Unikrishnan was telling about study materials and uh, multiple entry fee scheme and all. But I have to start from online counseling in connection with or in continuation with the study materials. I hope. Almost all of you may have received your study materials. Now, you will be eager to know about the uh, counseling sessions or the classes about uh, your study materials received or on your courses. So the courses also was uh, spelled out very nicely by the uh, President of the The counseling sessions we mean uh, is the help to be rendered to the learners from the academic counselors of Ikeda. Academic counselors are the experts. We are identifying uh, from the regular colleges as per UGC norms. And the uh, qualified persons, highly experienced persons, they are sharing the study materials with you for the important aspects and as per the doubts raised by you to them at the time of counseling sessions. So counseling sessions, you don't think that the teachers or the counselors will completely uh, cover all the content areas which are needed or which are specified in the content materials. The online counselings are provided now uh, from 2020 onwards, means you, during the COVID-19 period onwards, IGNO was providing, IGNO is providing counselling sessions in virtual mode. These counseling sessions are decided and will be scheduled by the study centers. You know what is study center? The study center where you are attached with other than that of this regional center and headquarters. So the LSEs means learner support centers, that is study centers. These learner support centers will take decision on conducting of counseling sessions. They will submit the schedule to regional center and regional center people will check the availability of academic counselors and they will approve it. And we will decide a date for counseling sessions for each and every course for each program. And the date will be inform you uh, through SMS and email. I already told that is online counseling sessions are going on now. So our media is virtual and the platform we are using usually Google Meet and uh, in so other medias also here 
utilizing. So a virtual platform will be there to interact with you in the counseling sessions. While going through or while attending the counseling sessions, uh, you have to uh, be careful about so many matters. We know that you, most of the people, most of the learners are attending at your workplace or you are engaged with some other things or sometimes you may be engaged with your familial matters, whatever it may be. As a learner, with all the ethical aspects of a learner, you have to uh, sit before the uh, virtual platform, before the camera to engage with your counseling sessions because we are recording it and we are uploading it in our YouTube, you know, YouTube channel and the students who are uh, not facilitated at that time to attend the class will view it and some other people from other regional centers or uh, throughout uh, nationwide people can view the uh, counseling session. So uh, the teachers as well as the learners are behaving and sitting and performing before the camera or in the virtual classrooms in a very ethical manner. I think there is no need to tell more about it. Your dress code means very neatly you have to, sometimes it may be from home, from your room, but uh, consider it as an official platform and behave like that. And I already told the recorded channels, uh, classes will be available in the YouTube channel of Igno Regional Center Kochi. In addition to this, we have one channel-based counseling session in Malayalam Nadu. You are thinking that what is channel-based counseling? Channel-based counseling, by the name itself, it is clear that the broadcast is going on through a channel. It is a live class. You know that this is especially for the uh, CBCS students, choice-based credit system students who are learning at UG level, means bachelor degree level. Uh, BAG courses are there. IGNU is providing channel-based counseling for the BAD courses, especially social science discipline classes are going on now. And this is broadcasted through Soyam Prapa channel of Ministry of Education, India. And IGNU is also, IGNU is also having uh, some channels, four channels. Some channels means four channels. Channel number 17, 18, 19, and 20 is dedicated for IGNU. And IGNU is broadcasting the live classes through these channels. And 19 is the channel way through which IGNU RC coaching is giving the channel based counseling sessions, especially in regional language. So, this will be very much helpful to you because some of the students may not be um, that much uh, uh, comfortable uh, to attend the counseling sessions in English only. And that students, especially students from Kerala, can listen their channel-based counseling sessions through regional language and they can study well. This will be very much supportive for you to study your study materials in Malayalam. But you have to write the examinations in English only or in um, Hindi. Most of the students from Kerala are choosing English as medium. But you can study well in Malayalam. You can understand uh, the content materials well, then you can write it in English in the examination. So, as per the message received from the regional center coaching on channel based counseling sessions, you may please enter to uh, the Swayam Prabha channel live sessions and see it. And in the archives of the uh, Swayam Prabha channel, the already done classes are available also. From there also you can uh, listen and study the study materials of BAG programs, CBCS BAG programs. So this is the implementation, especially Madam was starting our program with the NEP implementations. This is also a provision given by the recommendations of the National New Education Policy of 2020. Um, and this can be utilized by you for the successful completion of your programs. Well, then Prasidama? Yes. And the time I will tell you that is every day means Monday to Friday, 3.50 p.m. to 4.50 p.m. This will be available. Regional Center Coaching is the total office for Trivandrum, 
Vadagara and Kochi regional centers. You have friends in other regional centers, you can tell them you can uh, about the channel based counseling sessions available in this um, Soimbrabha channel. And in, uh, in addition to this, this facility is available in other languages also. That means in 13 languages all over India. So this is the counseling session facilities available in uh, Igno. Now, after getting the counseling sessions and uh, your learning process, you have to be ready to submit your assignments first. So before examination, before finalization of your programs to get the convocation certificate, the students have to go through different types of assessment mechanisms, internal and external. So the first internal assessment mechanism is submission of assignments. All students, irrespective of their program, certificate, diploma, bachelor degree, master degree, whatever it is, for every course, course for each course, you have one assignment each. Course means paper. So you have to attend assignment in your courses and these assignments have to be in a written form. You have to write by hand and you can submit it other than that of the uh, uh, internal assessment mechanisms like uh, practical. I will tell you because that is why I have uh, skipped that uh, slide. I will tell you later. Again, it is coming. So the first thing is assignment. Now you will think uh, from where I, we will get the assignment questions and all. That is also uh, there in the IGNO website. Dr. Prasida Unikushin was giving you the links uh, available in IGNO website for almost all matters she was uh, sharing with you. And the assignment also we will tell you, the assignment responses you have to prepare. That assignment responses you can submit in the study centers where you are allotted. And also you can submit the assignments in the online uh, submission link given. So in the study centers, there are facilities to submit your assignments sometimes maybe with a drop box otherwise some study centers are accepting on their desk uh, help desk like uh, some uh, uh, facility is there everywhere and you can submit it and uh, they receive this uh, their address with that you have to fill it up and uh, get the uh, receipt assigned by the person who is uh, handling your assignments in the study centers this will help you in, in future if uh, something is happening because this is a big system. Uh, lots of students are there, thousands of students are there in each regional center and in study centers also in, in some big study centers there are thousands of students. So uh, to avoid the uh, missing of your assignments and all, you may please keep the receipt with you. Then you will think from where you will get the assignment questions. I told you already that it is available in the IGNU website. IGNU uh, website homepage, you know, there, uh, about IGNU is there, after home, about IGNU is there, register online is there. That is very much familiar to all of you because you all of you have taken your admission through this register online portal. And next to that, student support is there. After being a student, this is the main uh, link or portal you have to be familiar with always, student support. There, you will get all the supports needed for an, an IGNU student for the successful completion of your program. So the next, the first link, sub link given in student support is student zone. And after that, student grievance is there. Next is downloads encircled by uh, in red color. There you can click. And uh, there, assignments are there. While clicking on these assignments, Again, a window will be appeared by showing master degree programs, bachelor degree programs, PG diploma like that. So according to your program, you, co you can click on the necessary uh, link. Then the assignment questions will be appeared. Course-wise assignment questions are given and then you can download the questions and you can prepare your answers very calmly, peacefully 
by referring your study materials if needed you can refer some other uh, reference materials also available in the market or from some libraries now if you are submitting your assignment responses in soft copy how to thoroughly go through the instructions first how to submit the assignment that instruction is given so at first i told you told you about the guidelines that only scanned copy of the handwritten assignments can be submitted you don't uh, type it don't download it from anywhere you write it because it is a strategy for learning also so refer your study materials and uh, write well and submit and the size of the study materials you are uh, sorry the assignments you are preparing should not be exceeded than 100 kb otherwise the link can't accept it because thousands of students or lakhs of students are submitting to uh, manage the portal space this is restricted to 100 kb and uh, uh, for keeping the word file in a uh, good manner or in a prompt manner please convert it into pdf that is always better but a word will also be accepted and some preliminary questions are there uh, information is uh, required there in that application form means your uh, enrollment number your name program course like that you give all the thing and uh, submit your assignment in the uploading uh, uh, link given there and you can once again go through the guidelines first and complete and fulfill all the requirements as guidelines and by giving your uh, inputs in that and submit the assignment and in the ignu regional center coaching ask the students of ignu regional center ignu regional center student corner website student corner this facility is available for submitting your assignments so this is the very important area of internal assessment i have already told why because it is important 25 per 30% of the uh, final uh, marks or the grade will be taken on the basis of the assignments submitted by you for each course and the rest of the 70% will be on the basis of the examination you are going to write okay so that is very much important so in, uh, with that importance and uh, seriousness you may prepare the assignments and the other internal assessment mechanisms for some of some other courses for example bca uh, and bsc master degree programs like mabc msc cft uh, library science and all these type of programs msw how some other internal assessment parts practicals are there for mabc practicals are there bapc practicals are there for bsw msw programs it has field work uh, workshops and field works are one the practicals are there uh, msc mabc has internship uh, like that uh, this uh, dbar and uh, all that programs have internship uh, mca has a mini project msc cft uh, mapc and uh, all these programs have fine uh, dissertations means projects some programs have viva oc uh, means simply you are submitting the project and uh, assessment is necessary for that is sufficient for giving you awards and for some other programs like mapc msc cft and all project yyoc will also be there so all these are means practical field work workshop internship uh, mini project uh, yyoc etc are some other internal assessment mechanisms in addition to the assignments as per the program guide you will get the information regarding all these uh, integrated activities with your programs that you uh, you can go through that so uh, similar to the study materials how seriously you are referring in the same way you have to go through the program wide also because program wide is a guide or a teacher to you to um, help you to move ahead through all the activities given it means attached with your program of time and work or where to submit how to submit how to prepare at what time it has to be submitted what is the assessment mechanism how much of marks are given like that all the uh, things are given in the program right that is the uh, matters uh, has to be interacted with you on internal assessment finally external assessment that is attainment uh, examinations attainment examinations are uh, 
conducted every year two times. You know that your admission is also of two semesters, January and July, like that. Our payment uh, examinations are also conducted in every June and December. The students uh, of yearly programs have, who, are, who have taken their uh, admission in June session, July session uh, has to appear for the examinations of next June. Like that January session students are taking their uh, examinations in December, irrespective of that. Once your semester or year is completed, you can attend examinations in any of this uh, semester to complete or to save your time and term. So this is the time and examination. For time and examination, as we have already seen the online registration portal just before the student support, there you have taken your admission through online. Now, uh, after that, you will take, uh, you will again, uh, uh, Enter to that link for many other purposes like that. For time and examination also, you have to enter to the online uh, portal for examination registration. Uh, means all students have to apply online for examination. And uh, I already told assignment submission is a prerequisite for uh, applying for examination. For each course, 200 rupees is the examination fee. You have paid your uh, tuition fee already now at the time of examination for registration of examination for each session separately you have to register once you have registered for uh, uh, june time in the examination you couldn't write the examination you don't think that with the same fee and the registration you can write the next session no again for december examination you have to register and 200 rupees is the current uh, payment allotted for online time and examination registration and just before the examination sometimes one week before or five days before you will get the hall ticket and it has to be downloaded from the igno website so students can download the examination hall ticket that is about time and examinations and time and examination centers you may be thinking that where i have to i can write my examination we have lscs for supporting you in your, in your academic matters but you don't think that all LSEs are your examination centers. We have selected examination centers in LSEs itself. Our LSEs are examination centers, but not all LSEs. So some of the LSEs are identified and approved as examination centers. That list is available in our Indian Regional Center Coaching website. And at the same time, online registration of examination, there the examination centers are listed. So the nearby examination center, which is a uh, which one is uh, uh, for your of your choice can be selected from the uh, drop down menu or from the selection list. Then the, some students uh, sometimes they have taken their admission from here, but they are writing their examination. They are deciding to write their examination abroad or in some other countries. In that case, you can register for examination through. IGNU headquarters on international division is there. Through international division, you can register for your examinations, uh, which are uh, decided to uh, decided to appear in abroad countries. All Indian students means students are writing their examinations in India can only register through this general portal. Already, I have I I was mentioning about that is for the students who are writing in India. Uh, other students, once again, I am telling repeatedly that. You, uh, the other students who are international uh, students can join for examination and all through international division only. In. I already told you project internship field work journals and all. There is a provision for uh, online submission of these projects, internships and all in the IGNU main website. There is link for project submission is given through which you can write your uh, you can submit your final reports of projects and all. In hard copy also, you can submit at regional centers. I don't say that in regional centers only because already I told where to submit that provision is also there in your program guide and in your handbook. So each and every projects and internship, there are handbooks. So go through the handbooks and find out where you can submit your project work or field work or internship like that. So, online link is there 
and these programs which have project internship field work journals component can be referred to the project internship link at gangosh link at gangosh means e gangosh you will get the uh, handbook project books and all and read well to know where it has to be submitted some of the projects are how to be submitted at regional center some of the project how to be submitted through study center to headquarters headquarters means student evaluation division and some of the uh, project reports like mba and all mlas and all you can submit directly to student evaluation division to headquarters by the student themselves so these are the provisions there okay now after submission of assignment project work field work practicals whatever it is uh, there with your program time and examination also completed now you are waiting for your final certificate before that once your grade card is seen as completed for all courses for which you have registered you will get your final mark list in original and your provisional certificate provisional name means it's a temporary or in dream arrangement so you will get the provisional certificate and original mark list by post to your address given in this igno registration after that that is a prerequisite once you have received your provisional certificate that means you are eligible for receiving convocation higher certificate so for that also you have to register so every year once almost in march april may months we are conducting april almost march and april months we are conducting convocation and we are including two sessions of learners in the convocation for uh, receiving their certificates before that once it is confirmed that you have completed your program you got the provision certificate and mark list you can uh, come to a conclusion that you are eligible for getting the final uh, certificate and check the igno website their link is there for registering for convocation so that is also online in the online registration registration portal that is the last item get click on that register and the required fee can be submitted now 36th convocation registration is going on 35th will also be available for some students uh, may not be getting um, time or uh, some other thing they sometimes they may forget it uh, to register for that if immediately a job purpose is coming a promotion purpose is coming they will be in a hurry hurry to receive your certificate then you can register your uh, convocation certificate in the available portal in the website now the 36th convocation is going on this is not applicable for you because you are fresh learners but i am telling you the provision the current as per the current status 600 rupees is the payment for uh, certificate or convocation uh, at the time of your convocation what is available or what will be the current status as per you can perform and you can register through online for getting the certificate and certificate will be available in the convocation itself it's a big ceremony and after that uh, there is a chance there is a provision to receive your certificates in absentia also this is available in the online portal when you are registering for that so there is no need to tell much more about it because at the time of convocation you will be uh, able to identify or understand all these matters after uh, because it is the stage of completion of your program and you can do your registration you can get the convocation certificate thus you can be a good learner and a successful complete uh, you can complete your program successfully and uh, now this is the status uh, uh, it's a, supposed we are supposed uh, to reach in that stage before completing this program once again uh, our uh, respected regional, regional director madam dr jayesh dorothy is invited uh, to share uh, her views on life skill for a distance learner ma'am thank you ma'am Uh, friends now we uh, we got to listen to the life skill for a distance learner many a time our exposure to study may not lead to a, a comfortable study period in our adult adult uh, phase of life 
so uh, you need to have uh, a, a certain life skills to study at distance teaching institution so first i would like to say what is a life skill is the world health organization has defined life skill as the abilities for adaptive and positive behavior that enable individuals to deal effectively with the demands and challenges of everyday life friends here you got to talk uh, see two uh, positive words i should say it's a adaptive behavior and it's a positive behavior so the two things which you are expected as a learner is uh, you i we understand that as an adult learner you are studying amidst your uh, family commitments your personal commitments your job commitments and the social commitments because of your already existed uh, certain uh, status or stata in your society you may think that as being a learner is uh, will be framed from the foundation of what you are in the society definitely not friends you got to adapt to the learning style which is expected as a learner so it is more like if you recall your school days or a college days the initial period of studies of how rigorous it used to be the same effort you need to put it when it comes to distance learning also and definitely hurdles are for you to cross and so when you are encountering a, a hurdle please target at a solution so that will give you an adaptive and positive behavior so that the demands and challenges of everyday learning can be met when you travel from access to the program of study to the successful completion with ignore uh, as an university so uh, we expect uh, these uh, life skills for a distance learner one is honesty taking one day at a time persistence expression of interest steadfastness peer interaction we'll just have a look at each of one each of the life skill the honesty it means to the peers to the authorities to self to be to genuine in relationship in admitting faults and also not to blame game and there should there should not be any suppression or oppression because of your already existed status and also openness how it relates is suppose you are borrowing some uh, um, uh, the material the assignment of uh, uh, response or the points created by some peer please do not copy that is the honesty you expect when you borrow an assignment response as a model to authorities where you went wrong definitely always the igno system is not uh, the institution has at fault or the regional center is at fault there were there will be certain times where as a learner also we would have forgotten to fulfill the prerequisites so be honest to the authority so that they can study um, the problem from where you have left so that the solution is obtained immediately and be honest to yourself have a prescribed period many a time uh, uh, i have heard uh, the students telling i would have uh, used my mobile app but by the, by the time uh, i got access to the study material i was just uh, busy seeing all the shorts available and it's it has consumed yes it refreshed so many information i got but that is not related to learning process so you be genuine to yourself so how you have to be honest to yourself is if you are studying definitely you have to sacrifice certain leisure time and also the you have to forego certain of your sleep time also to meet the needs of studying amidst so many commitments of social personal official and also the uh, at personal level and be genuine in relationship many a time the distance learners are accused for using a relationship and throwing definitely no friends many a time the uh, relationships are sustained for lifetime so be genuine in relationship especially many a time the younger ones gets fooled by the older ones and there are cases also the older uh, learners being fooled by the younger ones 
and when they come uh, to uh, regional center to complain they won't be having any other information other than the pet name and the mobile number so that is not correct so when you are genuine in relationship in the sense of borrowing books and helping each other then you have you should not copy and at the same time you should be honest to the original concept from where it is given and be honest in admitting faults is also an important thing especially when it comes to student uh, uh, problem solution and always never blame games take responsibility you have to introspect uh, introspect yourself and see whether you are at fault also when you admit faults it's easy to travel from there to uh, problem solution and please do not suppress somebody or oppress somebody when you come to the regional center or uh, to the study center and let there be openness of why you are talking for what purpose you have come and if that to honesty is also expected from a distance learner the next one is taking one day at a time you have to have a time management as i shared with you that you are going to study amidst your personal social family commitments besides that there will be some personal needs also so amidst that how you are going to have your time management definitely or uh, your uh, boss your office structure or your uh, family structure or your uh, relatives visiting you is not uh, going to be according as per the schedule of your uh, examination or assignment submission or study with the igno so you have to have a good time management of how to manage uh, the um, program of study where, uh, from the right from the point of access to the program and please do not worry about tomorrow many a time the distance learner fail to fulfill the prerequisites for example the prerequisite for uh, the appearing in examination is submission of examination form so when you uh, fail to um, uh, fulfill the prerequisites then you cannot uh, complete that activity itself and the learners they forecast of what the problem will be some 10 15 months afterwards or 2 3 months afterwards and then they do not fulfill the prerequisites i will encourage you friends please take one day at a time and one task at a time and in today's prerequisites whether you are fulfilling irrespective of the dark tomorrow needs to be done at your part and always remember little drops makes a mighty ocean meaning even if you read one or two pages in a day it will help you to get accustomed to the material more and then uh, accumulating everything uh, for a day to study sometimes that day may not also come and all problems have a solution so you be bold to take the process targeting at a solution rather than being stuck in the problem or uh, uh, throwing uh, blames on uh, somebody else or on the institution and do at least something related to a study in a day so at least one check self check exercises you can read the question and you can see what is the best answer so something related to your study for by taking one day at a time is a life skill for a distance learner and then the persistence persistence is being sustained in that interest see many a time in pre admission counseling we are so much uh, concerned about uh, the uh, joining a course and we do also multiple entries uh, uh, but that interest is never sustained is pressures in life problems in life hurdles in life do come but still do not give up it's over only when you give up and this uh, learning process is like a slow cycling so the slow and study uh, wins the race so also is true for studying process and little effort matters so small what you can do what best you can do today amid so many other things and what you can forego and the uniqueness of learning is that you cannot listen to tv and do your assignment you cannot uh, talk to somebody and keep studying 
or you cannot check your uh, so many messages in the whatsapp or viewing shots in the youtube so that uh, uh, you will get uh, some time to study no that's not possible you have to allot a certain time management is needed to allot certain time for your study a little effort matters and be optimistic to yesterday's problem should not reflect on today's decision and similarly tomorrow's fear should also not reflect in today's decision so be optimistic and take one day at a time and also view hurdles as stepping stones and only uh, in life especially more so in the learning process uh, only when you meet the dead end you will realize there are multiple exit from that dead end so view hurdles as stepping stones friends so persistence uh, uh, in a life as a life skill for a distance learner is a uh, is important for successful completion next is expression of interest yes we do understand body language we do understand the non verbal communication the smile the facial expression it expressing yourself has to be there when it comes to expressing your needs of what you want from the uh, learner support center or the regional center so express yourself in the sense be genuine and many a time people immediately say i am from this one that one and so do not threaten or link with your job profile you come as a learner please study enjoy the benefits what is the problem you have you express and all problems of ignu related to study is solvable but the process may take depending upon your involvement also so and help desk is there and be polite at the help desk and even when you are right and you have a complaint please uh, uh, be courteous when you uh, approach the help desk personnel and never friends neither in home or in your job spot or with the ignu if you are assaulting somebody emotionally you are going to keep a big distance with them and the it is also said that you can even if you slap somebody they may forget but you keep assaulting somebody verbally it is not going to gain anything for, for your betterment of the relationship so uh, refrain from exchange of uh, uh, unnecessary uh, uh, what do you say non courteous words when you are coming to the help desk and igno use the in inclusive and integrated classroom meaning any differently abled learners are also uh, welcome to be a part of the mainstream because this is in terms with the un policy and also our government of india regulations wherein the society is mainly important for sustained livelihood of a differently able learner so we do not when a learner is coming on her own on his or his own without assistance we we see and we entertain them to mingle with the mainstream learners but still if you have special needs after say somebody would have come and dropped you at the regional center and you need some assistance to go to the bathroom or some uh, or uh, to ease yourself during the day or to change some of your personal items then you have to express yourself we won't be able to understand uh, unless otherwise it is expressed because body language is always need not be expressed to be responded by the uh, caregiver so the nature call is uh, a natural one for any learner and so you should know where the toilet is in the learner support center and at the regional center so the restrooms are ear marked and any one uh, in the access of the vicinity the you including the security guard can guide you of where the toilet uh, or the restrooms are and personal hygiene uh, products are not sold in all places at the learner support center or examination center or regional center so you need to bring those personal hygiene products of diaper or pad as the case may be depending upon your need along with you 
and you uh, you also take care of the disposal after rather later and the uh, because each individual is responsible for the waste we have generated and also equally responsible for uh, the uh, disposal of the waste generated and uh, the request to exercise the element of uh, discretion do uh, um, prevail in ignu so if we want to say suppose the morning is the last date and you want one hour two hour or by the end of the day you want to submit it you can always approach the coordinator but the element of description to accept beyond last date is uh, it rest on the coordinator not not on uh, there is no point in telling that regional center may guide uh, the coordinator to accept no we won't interfere if you have if you are a genuine student you have a genuine problem please take the coordinator into acceptance and now that the assignment response can also be submitted online we keep it open even uh, till the because we are uh, indian standard time midnight 24 hours may 12 at 12 we have to close it but we just keep it after five minutes also so that the, you are benefited but still further beyond the last date it's element of discretion uh, uh, plays a role and the special need and the medical need we won't be knowing unless you express so what is the special need in between meals in between snacks you have to have and then the medical need you want to you are already on medication and uh, you want to have your uh, medicines amidst uh, writing exam attending practicals or while coming here and then uh, you have to express yourself and spare dress is needed to be brought by you depending upon your need if uh, this is especially uh, for uh, learners who know that uh, they, they are uh, accustomed to soiling their dress because of uh, physical needs, because of medical conditions, because of the uh, the emotional conditions also. So, and whenever possible, friends, any embarrassed situation is not going to uh, be taken as a stigma on you. So, even a delicate situation of you need and what is needing special attention but from the help desk professional you need to express yourself so uh, next is the steadfastness the steadfastness is the determination in which you sustain your interest for successful completion of the study so you have to be uh, have dedication for the learning activity and you, you may have to sacrifice other leisure time activity also and there should be commitment from you to do the best at all times it's not just writing something and uploading as assignment response put your best and leave the rest to i will say have spiritual intelligence so you leave the rest to god and so he will do what you what you cannot do and focus on the spin off benefits many a time the learners they fail to understand of what are the spin uh, spin off benefits they will gain upon completion of the program of study so friends you please focus on this it may be a promotion it may be uh, an economic uh, uh, jump also by uh, going to another job, so job mobility, uh, job mobility across the cadre or vertical mobility by means of promotion, or you may also get one social well-being uh, uh, or psychological well-being that your qualification and your colleagues' qualification is same, or you have an edge over your colleagues uh, and in, or in the team. So it does focus the spin of benefits. You won't mind it leaving the leisure time activity. And then the peer interaction, the necessity in distance learning, as I was sharing, you are away from the institution, you are away from the peers, and you're also away from the teacher who wrote the study material. So there is necessity for peer interaction in distance learning. And please do not join peer who are demanding and threatening. Definitely many a time when we address the student rest, the person who initiated the unrest 
won't be there when the, the uh, when people are booked for creating the unrest and unrest is not going to be the only solution for you to target at uh, your uh, your problem uh, resolving uh, mechanism so please when anyone is aggravating that let us give something against this person that person or uh, if they are demanding uh, uh, from you that you should join us or they are threatening to join the un student unrest uh, uh, creating group please do not join and please do not join peer who oppress or suppress others and ragging is prohibited in uh, uh, even in uh, higher education institutions like ignu so we uh, any any mishap related to this you can just reach uh, to the help desk or you can uh, send a mail also to asikochin at ignu.ac.in and do not join peer who initiate unrest of late we are also uh, cautioning you even when you come to write examination or learner support centers irrespective of your header in social uh, society or in your id card is a must many students get agitated when they uh, when id card is asked by the coordinator or randomly checked by regional center staff they say do you know who we are yes that is different are you a student to address our issue that's so the id card is a must so we have got the procedure to download the id card please download the id card and id card uh, of indira gandhi national open university in the capacity of student is a must for entry into the learner support center or examination center and regional center and of late we are also experiencing students who are, uh, uh, people pretending to be students walking into lsc and people pretending to be examinees walking into examination center and creating unrest or sometimes uh, creating uh, what is say the, um, the damage to the property of the institution so we are strictly allowing entry to lsc to examination center only based on ignu identity card uh, which is given by the university at the time of admission and be cautious of whom you are associating friends you are just how you are new to the uh, student we are also new to the student and it is not like our school or the conventional education system where the entire profile of the learner is sought at one go and it is in the custody of the institution so if, when you are associating with people we do not have any confidential profile so that is where you have to depend on god to take you to the right table and bring the right person to your table in terms of a uh, good relationship for studying at with igno and uh, so far you have been listening to uh, the life skills needed and uh, uh, we just want to uh, summarize it uh, of what we have heard so far and this is the one of the uh, stories i should say uh, the uh, of when we should not give up and this is one of the motivational stories which i uh, personally feel that we should be like the small ass which has fallen into a ditch Uh, because the boss is uh, the boss of the boss uh, the ass has pushed him because it's no more uh, useful for the boss but the ass when it falls into the uh, pit it is so alert and he has a good opinion ab about the boss he said was oh, from small age the boss is taking care of me maybe he is also growing old and he didn't see the ditch and he has uh, uh, dragged me there and i am also old that i didn't see it right or else i would have braid so the first problem uh, it is taking in an optimistic view is that it is the response collective responsibility when there is a problem so from this donkey we can uh, know when you are encountering a problem please remember it's collective responsibility we cannot blame it on others even we are responsible for the problem in which we are and then 
the boss the the donkey's owner was throwing mud on the boss with the intention to close uh, the pit but the uh, donkey was so optimistic that it thought that the boss is trying to save uh, the donkey so every time he put a heap of mud it used to climb on it and, sta and stand so are you encountering your a uh, difficult situation as stepping stones or getting soiled at that level itself it's over only when you give up so the second moral we learn from this donkey is use your uh, difficult situation as stepping stone to move to the next level if not physically you are reaching at least you will have some emotional higher level at least after encountering a problem and when the owner of the donkey was putting the mud and the uh, donkey climbing on it at one point it reached the eye to eye contact with the boss and he told that i know you would have saved me so this is what friends many times in our life also not all at your office not all at your home not all in your society are going to encourage you to study every day with ignu so that your access to the program of study will lead to successful completion and thereby you have spin off benefits but just like this donkey at one point you will realize whatever hurdles the people have created and you have climbed on it and you will say that you have reached a better height because of uh, the persons who have created the problem rather than by your own ability so and uh, there will be occasions when you successfully complete you may be able to uh, see people who have created hurdles for your study but still be optimistic and be grateful that these these are the things uh, with the hurdles which helped you to climb in the uh, ladder so uh, have emotional uh, intelligence and uh, the above all please have spiritual intelligence the trust in god so that when you are uh, stuck the uh, spiritual intelligence will help you to develop your uh, other intelligence aspects in your life and also will help you to be positive and op optimistic towards handling the problem solution and uh, please take one day at a time and uh, over to dr prasita unni krishna uh, with a request to sum up of what we have been listening to and it will be a checklist for each one of you and uh, please do visit our uh, youtube channel of ignu regional center coaching and subscribe to it also and follow us on tweet so that uh, we are in touch with you and uh, we would like to uh, uh, what to say we will be a part with you in your learning process and we wish you all the best and we know that whatever you do should be useful for you and also to your family and good help to you uh, from regional center coaching over to dr prasita unni krishna thank you dr uh, dorothy madam for your uh, brief lecture about life skills which our distance le education learners need to have to successfully complete their program from igno so basically uh, throughout this induction meeting the learners of july 2022 session would have got some idea of the do's and don'ts of, of being an igno student and after hearing so many points uh, uh, students uh, would like to hear it as a checklist like a brief uh, checklist as to what uh, you should uh, be doing and not doing as an igno student so through this um, brief uh, i must say a very brief uh, uh, session uh, of maybe 5 to 10 minutes i would just be guiding you towards the checklist of being an igno learner so first of all let me congratulate all, all of you for being Uh, success, for successfully taking admission to the igno programs so first and foremost is you need to remember your enrollment number your 10 digit enrollment number 
uh, it should not be confused with your control number because we have so many students coming here at our help desk uh, who are confusing the control number with the enrollment number. So control number is the number which is allotted to you till the time you get admission to the IGNO program. After you get admission to the IGNO program, control number is of no use. And please do not quote your control number in any of your uh, uh, while submitting because we have cases even when submitting assignments also they quote the control number so control number is only required till the time you get admitted to igno and not after that so what you basically need to remember is your 10 digit enrollment number only and then you should also be knowing your program code very clearly like supposing if you have registered for an ms psychology program the program code would be mapc and you should also remember the subjects uh, which you as an ICNO student would be studying basically for the first year, which are the subjects you are going to study. And these subjects are, uh, said, are said to be course codes. Uh, so you need to remember the course code of your uh, program of study. That should be very clear to you. That is, you have to study five, uh, five course codes, six course codes, depending upon the program which you have chosen. The next step, what you should be doing as an IGNO student is please check your registration details uh, as a uh, from the student zone under IGNO website. Uh, the registration details give you a complete, uh, the, your name, address, uh, your contact, uh, your name, address, your uh, course codes which you need to complete, your validity of your program, everything is mentioned under the registration details. So in case you have any, any a uh, minor mistake or change in your name or address, please feel free to write to us at rccochin at the rate igno.ac.in. For any communication with Igno Regional Center Cochin, please make it a point to enclose your ID card along with it as this would facilitate us uh, to resolve your problem in a quick manner. And also, Please note that your registration details uh, under the which are given under the student zone, you should at least go through it because many a times we have come across students who have not visited their registration details under student zone of IGNO website. Also, you need to note down the minimum and maximum duration of your program. Every program of IGNO has a minimum duration and a maximum duration. Like for the certificate level program, the minimum duration is six months and the maximum duration is uh, two years. Similarly, for a diploma level program, the minimum duration is one year and the maximum duration is two years. Now, supposing you are a bachelor's level program, the minimum duration is uh, three years and the maximum duration is six years. Similarly, for a PG level program, the minimum duration is two years and the maximum duration is four years. So this is something you need to remember as an IGNO student for your program which you are studying. And for any change in the name, address, phone number, please write to us with a treatment center coaching, enclosing your ID proof. Remember that your ID card is a very, very important document because uh, once you take admission to IGNO, you need to submit your ID card at the time of writing your examinations. You need to show it for your uh, project viva, for your convocation, and for change of any of the records pertaining to IGNO, your ID card is a very, very important document. So kindly download your ID card from the IGNO admission uh, login ID and password, which you had created at the time of your admission. Download your ID card and please keep it safely. And please make a folder of IGNO or a file of IGNO when you are uh, st uh, attempt, you are starting your study with IGNO. Next is the hard copy of the study materials because so many students have put in their queries asking when we will receive our study materials. The hard copy of the study materials are usually sent by post and you, in case of students who have not received it, you will be receiving it very soon. And this includes your program guide and, and your self-learning materials. So every program of IGNO has a program guide. So please make it a point to go through your program guide nicely as this will give you an idea about the program which you are pursuing and how you can successfully complete your program because many times your program could have a fieldwork component your program could have a project component or an internship component so for if you are having a fieldwork component you will be having a fieldwork guide 
if you are having a project component, you will be having a pro, uh, project guide. So similarly, you need to download whichever program you are studying. Please download the guides accordingly, especially the program guide, the project guide, fieldwork guide, or the internship guide, which is available in case you have not received it along with your study materials. Please make it a point to download it from the e Kosh link, which is available on the IGNO website, www.igno.ac.in. And the pro as I said before, the program guide gives you the complete information about the program you're studying, and you should be going through it thoroughly. Next is you need to remember the name of your study center because every student is allotted to a study center. So you should be knowing the name of your study center, uh, your uh, the code, the address, and the email ID, and the contact number of your study center. So learners who are um, admitted for a two to three uh, years program of IGNO, they need to re-register for the second semester or second year online. Uh, like you now must have paid for the first year. Maybe if you are a student of undergraduate BA program of IGNO, BAG program of IGNO, you have paid the fees for the first year of your study. So uh, a student of July 2022 admission cycle need to re-register for the second year, maybe in the month of April or May, wherein the, wherein the re-registration link for the July 2023 session opens and you need to pay the fees for the second year and that need to be paid online only then only you will be able to appear for your second year examinations and submit your second year assignments as well so that process is called the re-registration and never confuse re-registration with the fresh admission because many a times we have students coming wherein instead of doing re-registration they apply for fresh admission so the re-registration link is a separate link which is available on the IGNO website and should never be confused with the fresh admission link which is of the Samarth portal. I would also like to highlight one more thing. The change of electives is not possible for students who have opted for BAG program, BCom and BSc programs of IGNO. Because since the syllabus has changed, the change of electives is not possible for these programs. Secondly, uh, you need to download your assignment questions. This was already explained by my colleague, Dr. VT Jalja Kumari. Assignment questions have to be downloaded from the IGNO website uh, in soft copy. And you need to submit your assignments at your study center only in your own handwriting through hard copy. Or even through soft copy, you also have the option uh, to submit it as a soft copy through the link which is available on the RC Kuchin website, httprcuchin.igno.ac.in. Next, once you submit your assignments, I hope the students are clear about enrollment number, program code, course code, assignment submission, program guide study uh, study materials of IGNO. So next what we come is to the term and examinations for which again the forms have to be submitted online only. Only IGNO term and examinations are mostly held in June and December. So for the students who have registered for the July 2022 admission cycle, especially for uh, BAG programs, BCOMG, uh, BSEG programs, and even for MCOM programs, the examinations they have to apply uh, maybe in the month of April uh, for the Ju for appearing in the June term and examination 2023. So before that, you need to submit your assignments at your study center only. IGNO also has the option of old question papers, <coughs> which can be downloaded from the IGNO website under Student Zone. So uh, this will enable the student to get an idea about the pattern of questions. Uh, uh, which are being asked in the examinations usually. And usually it is said that if a student uh, attempts maybe uh, past five years question paper, he would be able to do pretty well uh, in his examinations of IGNO. So definitely you as an IGNO student should download the old question papers and start attempting the same before writing your examinations. So once you write your examinations, uh, 
uh, your course gets completed after the stipulated time and the uh, provisional certificate and grade card once your grade card gets completed after 45 days your provisional certificate and grade card is directly sent by the student evaluation division itno headquarter delhi to your registered address so this is automatically comes upon the completion of your grade card uh, but a minimum 45 days time is required so these are some of the basic details which you as an igno student must be knowing apart from that please uh, we have uploaded the induction guidelines and the induction video also will be apply, uploaded on our rc coaching website as well as you can also visit our youtube channel of uh, rc coaching and kindly subscribe to the same so that you will be uh, getting all the, our latest updates on our youtube channel our facebook page kindly follow our facebook page through which this session is being live streamed and i have a, a request to all the students who are watching this session please download the induction guidelines we have uploaded the induction guidelines on the rc coaching website and you as an igno student whatever we have mentioned in this induction meeting is very clearly and specifically uh, uh, being given in a written form in the induction guidelines it is a nine page booklet which is uploaded on the rc coaching website and uh, you as an igno student must definitely go through the induction guidelines so that you get a basic idea of whatever information which we have shared to you through this induction meeting so last uh, many a times we do receive queries on how to download the igno id card you can download your igno id card using the same portal in which you took your admission uh, and by entering your username and password and once you download the id card uh, it is a password protected uh, pdf format and you can enroll uh, enter the enrollment number which is the password to open the file so your enrollment number is only the password to open the file and you can download your id card and keep it safely so these are some of the basic details which i thought you must be knowing as an igno student and has been given to you as a checklist so i am sure after hearing through all this induction meeting uh, i hope you all will be able to successfully complete your program from igno and from all of the staff here at Igno Regional Center Coaching, I wholeheartedly thank each one of you for participating in this Igno in this induction meeting. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I would like to express my gratitude to our regional director, Dr. G.S. Dorothy Madam, under whose guidance uh, this induction virtual induction meeting was conducted, and she was graceful enough to also be the resource person for this induction meeting. Uh, so, a uh, big thanks to her. Next, I would also like to thank our study centers and our LSE coordinators who are watching this induction meeting for the support which we have, they have extended to our students uh, uh, in, uh, in, their, in their supporting our students for the program which you are pursuing. So definitely after this induction meeting, the students will be contacting the respective study centers for the study related support services. So first, uh, so on behalf of all at Igno Regional Centers Coaching, I wholeheartedly thank the coordinators and staff of uh, the study centers associated with Igno Regional Center Coaching. Next, I would also like to thank my colleagues uh, at Igno Regional Center Coaching who were the resource persons for the session. My colleague, uh, Ms. Sujni Babu uh, and my colleague, Ms. Dr. V.T. Jalaja Kumari, uh, who explained various facets about uh, being an IGNO student to all of you. And I wholeheartedly express uh, my thanks to you, Madam, uh, on everyone's behalf. Next, I would also li like to thank our technical team, uh, because of whose help uh, this Facebook live session could be live streamed, uh, especially Sri Mohammad Ansar and Ms. Reshma, who are behind the uh, uh, this uh, this whole exercise uh, of live streaming this uh, uh, induction meeting to, uh, on Facebook and also will be uploading the same on the YouTube uh, channel of Igno RC Coaching. A big thanks to all of you. And I'm on and whole, I'm expressly, I'm extremely thankful to all our Igno learners who have supported us in each of our endeavor 
and a big thanks to each one of you who are viewing this session uh, and i hope i hope that uh, you may be able to complete your program successfully through igno thank you